requesting uh, direction from the board in terms of scheduling a public hearing on the application which was submitted by HPS Enterprises to LLC for a special permit for mining made pursuant to section 14.6 the Bradford County Land Development Regulations. We're advised by the consultant we engaged on-site environmental consulting LLC that they will likely be have finished their work in reviewing the application of materials by the end of this month, and therefore, uh, there being no additional work to be completed, we're ready to ask the board for its direction on scheduling. I provided you with a calendar. The next, obviously, available month they conclude their report by the end of September would be October. Um, I don't know whether you want to, I know there are some public comments on this. I don't know whether you want to take those or have some discussion first, but I think we need to talk about everything ranging from the dates that you'd like to have the public hearing or hearings, whether you'd like to have it on one or multiple dates, where you'd like to have it, what time you'd like to have it, how long you'd like to have the, the, do you want to set it for a start time and an indefinite end time? Do you want to set it for more than one date with a definitive start and end time? <coughs> Certainly all those options are open, but that's the conversation that we want to have. If you're going to go with the public comments first, um, then, then that would be good. But I would also like to, um, for Mr. Coombs from the Planning Council to uh, give us some advice on that too whenever we go online to speak. Mr. Chair, I'd like to suggest that uh, as far as a location, I think we probably have uh, quite a few people show up for that hearing. Um, so I would recommend that we. Yeah, definitely take a look at the, uh, the uh, conference center for sure. Yes, sir. And as far as the dates, I mean, there's uh, we have quite a few dates on here. There's probably a few that are not available, but... Uh, the, the dates that I listed, and I'm sorry to interrupt you. For no, you the, these are the dates that I was provided from Ms. Whittle for the conference center. And I agree that this room will not work because we're legally required to provide a reasonable accommodation for the public and I agree that this room yeah. is probably not sufficient for the number of folks who will more than likely attend. But um, I only asked Ms. Whittle to provide me with dates for October. I can, if it's the board's desire to schedule beyond that, then I can get with her and, and get some additional dates in future months. Uh, I, I think it would be beyond that. Yes. This is kind of quick. I think we deal with some other things. That's that's my take. Well, it's October. I mean, we've got, we've got a full month from now. We're going to go out there and look at a month and a half. That's right. I'll give my thoughts on it, and unless you want to hear from Mr. Coons first. Mr. Coons. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I've uh, provided some materials in front of you. Uh, sheet called Quasi-Judicial Public Hearing Procedures, and then Section uh, 14.6 from Special Permits uh, for Mining from Your Land Development Regulations. <coughs> One of the things you need to consider, uh, that this uh, hearing will be conducted as a quasi-judicial uh, proceeding. And uh, you'll need to get guidance from your county attorney, but in general, quasi-judicial proceedings are held much like a court hearing. And, and the Board of County Commissioners will be sitting as a essentially adjudicatory body in hearing uh, testimony, uh, qualified expert testimony, uh, receiving evidence, uh, and weighing all the testimony as well as public comments and rendering a decision whether to approve, approve with conditions, or deny the requested uh, permit. And if you schedule for more than one date, 
factor you need to consider is that the same commissioners that are present at the first hearing will need to be present at all subsequent hearings to render a decision. Everyone needs to hear the same evidence, and the same body needs to make the decision. So if all five commissioners at the first hearing, the second date must be attended by all five commissioners. If the first hearing is only attended by four commissioners, the second hearing can only be attended by those four commissioners, not the fifth commissioner. So that's something else you need uh, to take into consideration. In terms of timing, uh, this uh, is a matter that you should probably provide a reasonable amount of time for the applicant and other interested parties uh, to prepare uh, for such a hearing because it's, it will be conducted much like a court proceeding. And uh, to begin these matters, I would suggest that in the neighborhood of 60 to 90 days would not be an unreasonable time to provide for the applicant and all the parties to be able to prepare, get their expert witnesses lined up, and be able to provide uh, the testimony that you need to consider. Uh, in terms of the criteria in 14.6, uh, turn the second page, 14-5, uh, top E. Uh, again, you'll, you'll be taking a substantial, uh, competent, uh, scientific evidence to demonstrate uh, that the proposed mining activity uh, would not have an adverse effect on environmentally sensitive lands such as wetlands, floodplains, endangered, threatened, or species of special concern, wildlife habitats as designated by the Florida Game and uh, uh, Freshwater Fish Commission. Uh, and that those are matters that uh, you will need to be weighing very uh, heavily in terms of the expert testimony evidence you would receive. Uh, concerning the proposed activity. So, uh, I'm happy to answer any questions procedurally or schedule wise of uh, how you might want to consider uh, proceeding. <coughs> the important thing is, you need to remember, this is not just a legislative matter, as most of your decisions are. This is a quasi judicial hearing, which will be conducted much like a uh, court proceeding. So, do you think the middle of October would be too soon, or should we? project out that. that may be too soon and if it is extended for multiple dates uh, again getting on everyone's calendar or maybe you have a general election coming up in November uh, not having crystal ball with the outcome of that election may be there possibly could be a change in some of the members sitting on the board uh, after November uh, so that's something that you have to factor in your schedule because it's right around that time uh, and may want to consider having the hearing scheduled after the new board is seen. Which may be the same board. Okay, so should we give our staff direction to schedule this sometime in the Um, yeah, why do we have the staff to look at some, some dates? And how many dates do we want to reserve for this year? Do we want to do it at one, at one hearing until it's over? Do we want to buy it up for two or three nights? This is what we need yeah. to talk about. Yeah, sir. Sir, it's going to take more than, than one city. So we have to look at more than one city. Yeah. I think we need to pick two days. I, I would think it would be two pieces. I think we need to do that piece of it. December? Yeah, based on, on what Mr. Coons is saying, I'm going to be in the concerns for at least highlighting that there will be elections. <coughs> they would be sworn in what, the third week in November, somewhere around there. Yes, sir. And then we've got it's about two weeks after the election. Thanksgiving falls at that same time, so I think we should really be looking at how it could have some December. If we do it in December, can we do it? You think we should do it two consecutive nights? If we're going to say we need to do it two nights, should we do it two consecutive meetings? Maybe a Thursday, Friday, maybe a Thursday? Or do we want to do one, one week, one another? I'm just throwing questions. No, I like the idea of you know, doing it back to back. Uh, when we see the second of it, but if we did uh, like a Tuesday, Thursday, I think Wednesday with church, I think that may be uh, difficult having some people show up. So, uh, Tuesday, Thursday. And then also, are you going to have a cutoff time? In other words, like, are we going to run this thing past midnight? Are we going to run it to 11? I think we have to schedule a cutoff time, and then if we do the first night, then the second night, schedule a time that we're going to actually. Oh, one way or the other. So, so we're saying that, should we schedule three meetings only if we need the third meeting? 
I'm trying to do meetings, but now I'm just. Yeah, yeah. I'm just talking because I don't know how long this is going to go. I know how long the RV park went. I, I would rather have at least three scheduled meetings and not need the third one, and to not have a third one scheduled and and it run until one, two, three in the morning, and we're still trying to make a decision. Is all I'm getting at. Um, the other thing I'll say, and, I, and I'm not trying to put it off, if if we're going to go till December, and I'm just asking, with December being Christmas, do we want to make it for the second week in January? And and that's the only thing I'm saying for people to be able to get it get it together, because I know once you get into the holiday time, especially trying to schedule two or three nights. It, it gets tough with church church activities and families and everything else. So that's that's as I've, I've been thinking about this, just like oh, I was you know the whole time. So that I just didn't know if we should put this the second week in January. You're starting out year fresh. There's nothing else around. And then also that, that if I'm not mistaken, you won't get the final outcome from um, from um, um, EC, um, o, OEC until the end of September. So then that would give all of October, November, and December, that would give 90 days for anybody to re totally review that and then have our hearing the second week in January where Christmas is over, the holidays are over, the new board's elected, and and we go. Now that's, that's just my thought. And then that way there's nothing else around. Nobody can say we didn't give fair, adequate notice to everybody. <coughs> And move on. That's my thoughts on it. Mr. Chair, let's just say that at this point we're going to do it somewhere beyond December and then we'll get back with staff and, and, and give you some days. It sounds like January might be what we're talking about at this point, but I think we still need to get a staff and decide on those dates. I think we're going to pick dates right now. Right? And I'll have to get with Ms. Whittle, who has been very accommodating, but I certainly didn't ask her for anything that far out, but I'll have to get with her and see. Uh, I agree that. We wouldn't want to, for all the reasons Mr. Kuhn said and others, we wouldn't want to space the dates out very far. I think it makes sense to make them either consecutive mm -hmm. or skip one. If that's and it may be hard to schedule meeting times and John said and just said, well, it's, it's already, there's many bookings already. But you're saying January is more open at this point? Yeah. Okay. You're mostly mm -hmm. boarded after Christmas. Okay. <laughs> So you're going to pass on all the staff. Two or three nights, a, a firm start and end time, the third night being optional if at the sec end of the second night you haven't concluded, you know, or something of that nature. And then in January, depending on what. Uh, we want to do two nights and off the third night all in the same week. Personally, I would like to go on so everybody's. Yeah, I'd like to do it back to back to back if we could. Because also, we got to remember, if I'm not mistaken, like if we have a hearing say Monday night, we're not allowed to discuss it with anybody during the whole time, right? Is that is that correct, Mr. Coons? Yeah. So, you know. So I, I'd rather have it back to back to back. And We'll, we'll bring you some more options based on those parameters. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I think we still have some public comments. Now, now is, we do have some public comments. Do those two people that have public comments want to talk? Yes. Okay. Do we need to go first? Yes, sir. Let's do a three big old meeting. <laughs> <laughs> 